some number was reduced by 25%. What percentage increase is needed on the reduced result to return to the original number? The new number must be increased by 33.3% to get the original number. Take for example the number 10. Reduce it by 25% and you'll get 7.5. Then increase it by 33.3%. Just make simple calculations and that's it. We get 10. Each of the brothers have a certain amount of money. The older one holds 25% more than the younger one. What percentage of his money should the older brother give to the younger sibling, so that they have an equal amount of money? The older brother needs to give the younger one exactly 10% of his money, and then their funds will be equal. Let's calculate together. Imagine the younger brother has $100. Knowing this fact, we can find out how much money the elder brother has. To make their funds equal, we should divide $25 into two equal parts. Now every brother owns $112.5. This $12.5 represents 10% of the total that the older brother originally had. Two cars begin a race simultaneously. The first car completes each lap in one minute, while the second car takes one minute and 0.05 seconds per lap. Find out how many laps and in what place of the lap will the second car overtake the first. The answer is obvious. Since the second car is slower than the first on 0.05 seconds per lap, it will never be able to catch up with the first car. There is a boy who has a sister. Three years ago he was seven times older than his sister. Two years ago he was four times older. Last year he was three times older. And this year his sister is only 2.5 times younger. What are ages of the brother and sister?
The brother is 10 and his sister is 4 years old. This is the kind of task where you need to find some patterns. Firstly, 3 years ago the age difference was the largest. Secondly, 2 years ago the difference in the age changed almost twice. Knowing this fact, we can assume that 3 years ago the girl could have been only 1 year old, while the boy was 7. After calculating of each year and its changes, we can find out that the boy is 10 years old now and his sister is 4. A train is moving at a speed of 60 km per hour. One passenger is walking from the end of the train to the beginning at a speed of 3 km per hour. At what speed do you think the passenger is moving relative to the railroad? A passenger is moving relative to the railroad at a speed of 63 km per hour. Why? A person who is on a train in a stationary state is moving relative to the railroad at a speed of the train. When a person begins to move, we add his walking speed to the speed of the train where he is on, and it becomes 63 km per hour. Please, share in the comments below how many tasks have you managed to complete. Let's track your progress over time.